Welcome to a four video series about putting your telescope in a remote observatory. So my ultimate goal has always been to you know, own my own observatory like in the desert somewhere. And so I've been filming a few like clips here and there completely unplanned in the past few years. So in this video I'm going to show you guys a couple of examples where I actually go out and find some places. So video number one is this one where I'm driving around finding a, a place to put in a observatory. And then uh, video number two is going to be how to prepare your telescope to send it away uh, in image remotely. So what do you have to purchase? What do you have to prepare on your, on your rig? And video number three is going to be installing the rig at the observatory. Very exciting. And video number four is going to be a full interview with the owner of the observatory, Craig Stocks. We're going to talk about how to do remote imaging, how to install your stuff uh, you know, away. So it's a bunch of interesting uh, questions and answers that you might find useful. But rest assured, uh, those videos, you know, remote imaging, will not be a huge part of the channel. It's going to be once in a while. We are going to keep a beginner rig at home here, so we can really focus on beginner videos. And um, yeah, we'll have uh, you know much more videos without a, a crazy professional mount and and all of that. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit play on the unplanned videos I made while looking for a place. Hey guys, so today uh, I think you already know Jorge right there. You saw him before. Uh, today we're going to check out a place next to this valley where they are selling some land for a pretty cheap price. So we're kind of thinking of splitting costs. Hopefully it looks nice and it's not too close to any uh, tiny town or anything. And so we have a, a one hour and a half drive here to check it out. Okay, so we're trying to find the address because it's a very remote location. And there is the uh, Area 51 Alien Center. So this one was not good because there were too many farms all around. So I was kind of afraid uh, to invest with my friend knowing that there were you know, a bunch of small houses and, and farms all around and you know, in the long term it's kind of scary because you don't know how much light there will be So I'm currently driving through a uh, valley of fire and I stopped over here because there's a beautiful formation of rocks and it's called, let's see Seven Sisters. Super cool. I think, wait, let's count. I see one, two behind me. Three, four, five. I'm guessing the two other ones are over there. That's pretty cool. Uh, sadly, my GPS is completely lost here. And I have no idea how to get to the actual land I'm looking for. So, let's see. go to the site I want to check out the uh, the main uh, attraction in Valley of Fire which is Elephant Walk and to get there you need to walk on this trail and mind you it's like 105 degrees right now outside so I am suffering but I really want to see it and here it is Elephant Rock it's right there so I guess people come here all the time, take pictures at night and I really want to, so you have to like park all the way down there and walk this trail and set up over here and find the right angle for the Milky Way So the closest town is right down there. Okay, so we're going three miles in this direction. So I arrived. Uh, this seems to be the place for sale. Apparently there is like nine uh, tiny patches of land. And you know what? I don't see anything around. It's just plenty of grass. I mean, plenty of 
or trees like that. So great, just drove two hours for nothing. But um, also what scares me is there's like a bunch of tracks everywhere and also like bottles, see here and there. So I don't think it's a safe area to to have an observatory because people can come and steal your stuff, you know? So I guess this is once again a, a no. The hunt continues. There is also a boat there. If you guys want a boat, come pick it up. So I am once again on my quest to find a great place to have a, a remote observatory. Uh, this time with Dahlia. Hello Dahlia. And we stumbled upon some cows. Let's see what we got here. What is that? Oh. I just touched some cow poop. Look at those cows, there's baby cows too. We had some adult, adult cows and some baby cows. Fun fact, I grew up with cows. My family, they're all farmers. So I love cows. Cows are great. Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? This is an entire building. How, what's the size again? 24 by 42. 24 by 42. It's just one pallet. It's crazy. And the third one was in Utah. So uh, this was back when the observatory was still in construction. And now it's all done, as you can see here. So, which is crazy. And um, yeah, those were... This is probably the best thing to do now. Um, to, you know, to to host the telescope somewhere else. Um, I was really impressed and uh, kind of shocked by how much work there was involved in uh, the construction of this. There was so much um, things to learn, like uh, internet, um, ordering all the steel, concrete and all that. So that sounds like a nightmare. Um, so the, you know, Craig and his family did an amazing job and now it's all ready. And um, yeah, we'll have to put our scope there now. So this video was kind of all over the place. I know uh, those clips were completely unplanned, so I just put them all together. I think it was interesting anyway. And a good base uh, as to the next three videos that are coming up. So uh, hopefully you guys will learn a lot about remote imaging in the next few videos. And uh, we'll make sure to also you know include uh, home videos as well, which are going to be most of the, the time anyway. 80%, um, 90% of our content will still be home videos and this time with a beginner rig which I think is going to be even more interesting for you guys. So I'll see you guys next time uh, for the next videos and class guys.